Hello everyone, it's Yvonne here to do the readings for the Earth Signs and this will be for the lovely sign of Capricorn. So firstly, thank you for subscribing to my channel. If you're a fellow Capricorn, glad to have you here. Um, if you haven't subscribed to me yet, I love to have you in our community. Um, we have a fabulous community here. Some of the people who are here have been here with me right from the beginning. So it's a very beautiful, beautiful family, I want to say. So if you feel that you want to subscribe, please do. And make sure you press the bell. It will give you the reminders of when I'm going live or if I'm posting. And I do go live every Wednesday on YouTube at around about midday, uh, Australian Eastern Standard Time. Um, I generally stay on for about an hour. Sometimes I'll go an hour and a half, depending on how many people are there. But I do do um, some readings for a small donation. Um, so if you want to catch me there today, I will be there today. Okay, Capricorn, we have the Six of Swords coming out with the Three of Cups. So you may be moving away from a third party situation here. Maybe you've been um, caught up in something, but maybe you're just choosing to walk away because nothing's happening here. Um, okay, so if the reading doesn't resonate with you, because I do my readings very differently and they do tell a story, it's possible that might not be your story, which is fine. Um, you can check out your natal chart by Googling natal chart and putting in the details of your birth. Um, and that will give you the other planets that were in your sign at the time you were born, which means, again, like me, I'm a Capricorn sun. But I do have a Virgo, a Virgo, no I don't, I do have a Libra moon, a Scorpio rising and I have um, Aquarius in my Venus which means that if I want to look up things about love I would go for the sign in my Venus. Um, so yeah, widen your resources a little bit because you're not just your sun sign. Uh, so important that you understand that. You can also get a report done on some of those channels um, some of those websites you will get a free report so download it and have a good read up about where the planets were when you're born and what that might mean for you as a person if however <laughs> the reading is your reading I ask that you smash it by giving me a thumbs up and uh, helping me to grow the channel and I'd like to say thank you for your support all right so we're going to use the shadow skates tarot for your reading here today they are very lively. They do want to talk. Oh, they keep jumping out at me everywhere. So let's see what's going on for you. Okie dokie. So we have the Page of Cups coming through. All right. So thinking about those two cards up front, this sort of makes a little bit of sense to me. I feel like some sort of offer is coming in for you with the Page of Cups. Now the Page of Cups can represent the Pisces sign it's a water sign so it could be coming from a water sign but this is an offer of something that could be love but because it's a page it very often means just a message so it could be you know a, a, a date it could be somebody inviting you to a party a wedding or some sort of energy around love because it is ultimately a card of love and creativity but it can also be somebody offering you a job. It could be somebody seeking out whether you have an opportunity to work with them. Whatever it is, it is something you're going to really love here. And there's the Six of Swords. Now that jumped out on me at the beginning and it does have the Three of Cups. So they were definitely determined to come out. I feel like somebody wants to offer you something. I feel like somebody feels very, very strongly towards you here. But the thing is, either you're moving away from another situation or you're contemplating moving away from another situation or you are dealing with someone who's in another situation here with that three cups because you're moving away from something here. So let's find out why. Justice card. I feel like for some of you, you may be, you may be or have met someone who's had a huge impact on you. You may be also in a situation that you're not happy with or the situation you're in may not be right for you. But I feel like here, I just want to dig a little bit deeper. 
have the four of wands this person really does mean business and the ace of cups someone is very very much in love with you here could be a cancer because we do have the sign of cancer coming through yeah we have the world and the fool you're about to close something off and move towards someone here all right capricorn i feel like you've got yourself into some sort of situation where somebody else is involved I feel like there's either a really strong connection between you and someone else because there is really very strong love here between you and another person. One of you is in another situation that needs to be let go of. Um, I feel you're moving away, so it will be a decision that you need to make. The only thing is I can't tell you which one you're going to make, so we'll find that out as we read. But there's definitely a feeling here that somebody is offering you love. I feel like there's a cancer involved here for sure. Um, with the water with all that water coming through so you could be dealing with a cancer but it feels like to me there's an opportunity for one or the other of you to move in a different direction so let's see where that's going all right so we have the two of cups coming through so for some of you this feels like you've met someone that you're meant to be with with this two of cups this is real soulmate energy this is meeting the person that just fits you like a puzzle. You know, you find that you fit together really well. You see things eye to eye. You have a very, very strong connection with this person. You have soul ties here. All right, so we have the Queen of Cups again with this Cancer energy. Ten of Pentacles. This person wants to have a family with you here. They're making a huge offer here, a huge offer. This person wants to commit to you here. They feel great love for you. There's a lot of love between you here and a lot of this sort of energy of wanting to build a family together. The Knight of Pentacles tells me that this person, if they haven't made the offer to you as yet, that the offer is definitely coming. This person sees you as their future nine of cups wow what a beautiful reading so you have a wish coming true here somebody is coming in to make this offer i feel like you are already in love here so this offer feels to me like commitment because the love is already evident here but this is definitely commitment here and I feel like this is a wish come true. Maybe you're really hoping this person is going to offer you some sort of long-term commitment. Yep, definitely. Three of Wands here. This person's looking at the future. I have the Page of Pentacles and the Knight of Pentacles. And the page for me always talks about a gift from the universe. It's like you're being gifted with something so beautiful here that it's hard to believe with this wish card that is coming your way. All right, King of Pentacles. This person definitely wants to be your partner and we do have the Emperor coming through here. So you're dealing with a very powerful human being here. The Emperor can sometimes talk about someone who is highly educated, very well resourced. Um, but I feel like this Emperor gives me this energy of this person being quite powerful. Not in a controlling way at all, but their power is really palpable here. You could be dealing with another Capricorn Taurus Virgo, but I feel like this is your energy in this King of Pentacles. This person sees in you something very powerful as well. I just need to understand what's going on here. Ten of Cups at the end. Wow. Stunning reading, but it doesn't speak to me about what's going on. All right, so we have an offer coming through of love. We have the Six of Swords, so you're moving away from something with this Three of Cups. Maybe you've already moved away from a situation. I actually wonder if you're moving away from something else here. Let's get a little deeper into it. I do have here the Justice card, so I do feel that this was right for you at this time. I do have the energy of the Four of Wands, so I feel like with the Four of Wands and the Ace of Cups here, this is a very beautiful connection you have you may be dealing with a cancer but i see this person wanting to move things through to the next level because we do have the world card coming through and the fool i feel like this person may be ready to propose to you but i can't help feeling that somebody has moved away from another situation to come towards you here but then i feel like perhaps you have let go of something to move towards this person 
It is such a beautiful reading. So I have everything here that looks like you're dealing with a twin flame, but this soulmate energy is pure love. This is absolutely someone here because we have the Emperor, we have the Two of Cups, we have the Ace of Cups, we have the Four of Wands. I have every card here other than the Lover's card that just tells me that this relationship is just beautiful. You have the Nine of Cups, Ten of Cups energy here. You have someone here who's looking towards the future. I feel like this is a marriage proposal here. I feel like somebody wants to seal a deal. Um, this Ten of Pentacles tells me that they see you as everything they want in their future. They see you as highly abundant here. I also feel that this is sort of energy here where the universe has gifted, gifted you with something. So it's very possible that you've moved away from another situation and landed yourself in a situation with a brand new person that is per a perfect situation for you. Wow, it's so beautiful. All right, let's just put a few more cards on it so I can really understand what's going on. I feel like for some of you, you've dealt with something from your past here and moved away from something in your past. And I feel like that's what's going on. Nine of Swords, the Temperance card, and the Hierophant. Wow. Okay, so it's like everything has been brought into balance with this person. It's like it's making sense to you it's all making sense to you now you can see your future you see marriage with this person you're both you're both seeing this happening absolutely the king of wands is here with the strength card strong leo energy coming through here this person thinks you're their world they see you as everything they have ever wanted. You are more than they ever wanted here. This is a person who just feels so much love for you here. But I feel like you're feeling the same. I feel like you're feeling the same. Ace of Wands. There is a beautiful brand new start on offer. I don't think I've ever done a reading quite so stunning. It is just full of love. I'm going to read a roomy card for this one because it's a beautiful, beautiful love reading. Um, and it's good to see Capricorns finally finding something that really resonates with them. All right, you've got Blessings of Zara. I'm not quite sure what this card is talking about. So I'm going to read the poem. Let go of thought. Don't take it into your heart. You are naked and thought is like ice. You use thought to seek release from pain and suffering, while thought is the cause of your suffering and pain. The realm of creation is outside the scope of thought. O oh, foolish one, see the opus and behold the beauty. Look in the direction from which the images flow. See the brook that causes the wheel to turn. How beautiful is that? I'm going to read this little paragraph here because it's really, really beautiful. I wish to pull that false confection from your mouth. Oh, I know you will open your mouth even wider to scream like the terrible cry of a toddler denied. But the moment you open your mouth wide and draw breath to bemoan the outrageous travesty of your loss, I shall shove my divine finger dripping with nectar into your gaping mouth. I'll let you suckle then, surprised and contented by the sweetness that surpasses all other sweets. This is really beautiful. All right, then the oracle brings you the message that if something appears to be leaving your life, even something painful to release, it is because it is no longer healthy for you or no longer supporting of life for you. There is something more loving and beautiful awaiting. Do not try to feast upon scraps. Stop scraping in the dirt for stale breadcrumbs. Rise up and move towards the seat at the heavenly table gleaming before you for a greater feast awaits your attendance. I really feel strongly here that a lot of you have maybe not walked away from a relationship. Maybe you've walked away from the expectation of a relationship. Maybe it's not a third party situation. Maybe you've walked away from something that you felt was right for you but that wasn't right for you. Because you are walking into something incredibly beautiful here. And even though at the moment you may be still consumed by something from your past, 
whatever's coming in for you will taste so much sweeter here. It's a really beautiful experience for you. You have major love coming in Capricorn. It's so beautiful. Thank you.